Hi, I'm just gonna do a what I eat in a week to give you some realistic ideas. There might be some recipes, but for the first time that I do this, I'm probably just gonna be filming what I'm eating. Okay, honey, I'm sorry. Okay, I had some super firm tofu and little tomatoes that have salt all over them. And it, it looks like I'm talking in this video. I was, but I muted it so I could do a voiceover. Some of this pepper and little bird's eye chili and garlic from my mom's garden. And garlic from the buying club. And got these at Aldi. Just crammed some handfuls in my mouth. Some blue bee bloopers and a piece of yes, that is baking chocolate honey. I do not buy chocolate with sugar in it anymore. It is just chocolate. And a an organic, I think Zhao is the name, tea, which is a chai. Oops, I forgot my probiotic hot sauce that I made out of some chilies that my mommy got me. Um, made me, grew me. Why is that so hard for me to, she just grew them for me, you know? Like, why is that so difficult for me to to say but it was really good i dipped my tofu directly into that and needed it there's my little lunch buddy this is howdy i don't think i've properly introduced him on this channel yet but he shows up when i eat and i also ran and got a serving of peanut butter and my lunch buddy always helps me clean up the bowl he comes out of that blanket looking like a little babushka and I got this shirt from somebody. She used to live on the first floor of my apartment. And he loves to sniff the armpit. Look at him go. Look at him go for it. He's just in there. And this with dinner, I made a salad out of the baba ganoush that I made out of that eggplant that I was roasting in my grocery haul video. And put the tofu on it. And here's a limeade with kava and sparkling water. And hey, I've been doing this thing where I just mix cocoa powder. This is Dutch processed cocoa powder with water and no sweetener or anything just to get my like chocolate vibe going. I need chocolate like at every occasion. And this has coconut milk in it, but normally it's just water and she's lumpy. Uh, and he really went ham on that peanut butter. I think this is a delayed clip, but I had to pop it in there um, and he really flopped his whole ass ear over. Look at my baby. <laughs> this was lunch uh, Monday, and it's those soy noodles that I'm always going on and on about with the baba ganoush as a topping, like mix thing, and some chili, a chai tea, and peanut butter and chocolate again, and some blue bees. And here is um, my dinner on Monday. I had some pecans and blueberries. That was like sort of a dessert for me a little bit. And I made like some curry type inspired thing with coconut milk and broccoli, eggplant, mushroom, chili, bell pepper, lime, and some spices and chicken, uh, vegan chicken substitute and some water. And I put it in a glass just for y'all. And here's what I'm talking about, about this vegan chicken replacement. It's just soy curls. The only ingredient is soybeans. And look how much like Honey, look how much like shredded chicken that looks like. Who could have, who did that? All right, we're on Tuesday and I forgot to film um, Sunday and Monday's coffee, but I make one pot and then I drink half of it and then I drink the cold version of that the next day, which I'll see on Wednesday. And here's lunch. I eat twice a day and I have like, a hot beverage at lunch every time. This one's coffee with some ashwagandha powder. And I have peanut butter. No, no, no. Sun nut butter with another hunk of that, just chocolate. And my life's not really that glamorous. I pretty much just eat leftovers, you guys, for lunch. And that was the curry and blueberries, which I filmed really poorly. Um, and I had some fried tofu with olive oil and some peppers and garlic and kale another hot coffee and a fizzy for dinner and my dessert for this was yes peanut butter this time that's correct and a chocolate um maybe i'm eating too many carbs maybe that's why and look who decided to show up just in time for the peanut butter 
Good Wednesday morning to you all. Um, This is the leftover coffee from Tuesday that I just put the whole Kimmix in the fridge. Please do not look too hard at the bottom of this Kimmix because it's shameful. Uh, But I have to do this. This is like my weekly thing that I do. I'm going to try to take it slow. This is tofu, leftover tofu from yesterday with some jalapeno from my mom's garden and some kale and spices. Blueby Blubertons, once again, I don't think I'm going to buy blueberries next week and see how I do with that. Peanut butter and chocolate, classic. And instant coffee uh, with some of uh, that pond scummy, like swamp stuff on top is just ashwagandha powder and that's what I do. That meal was very spicy and I had to get a crispy water out of the fridge. Gosh dang. Then, ooh, I made a baba ganoush tray and it was so cute and so lovely. And I put some cucumber from my mom's garden and let me get right up in that baba ganoush so you can see it. There's some za'atar seasoning and salt pepper and uh, I can't remember. There's more peanut butter and chocolate. If that's really the week for it so far. And some pecans. Very nice. Struggling very hard. Dunked my finger in the tea on accident doing that. And this is a chai tea. I don't be washing stuff. And I use the same mug from lunch. And I just brought the bob ganoush over to my eating area. Which is not the table unless I have company. I sit at the couch and watch TV. Right now I'm watching baskets. And this is like a cauliflower rice nutritional yeast risotto type situation it's pretty good probably could have cooked it a little longer couldn't finish it i was too full and in the same old dirty cup another instant decaf coffee all right i had to make a fresh pot i got some like cleaner for this chemex so hopefully soon it will not be as gruesome and grotesque as it looks right now it looks like that literally for years. I'm sorry about it. I will drink the rest of this tomorrow, as in Friday. And for lunch, I made something really, it's weird. It was just like flax seeds and chia seeds and instant coffee and coconut milk, which is that like thing in the blender. It's a smoothie, I guess. I don't be pouring smoothies into glasses. I just drink them right out of the blender. Had some coffee with some swamp, swamp sludge and chocolate peanut butter and boy, howdy is this mucilaginous it's just really it was fine it was actually fine it reminded me of a smoothie because it's a lot of the ingredients that i used to put in a smoothie minus like fruit or sweetener of any kind probably some berries would be good in it and the leftover of that cauliflower risotto stuff because i didn't finish it last night um yeah like i said the smoothie really it really wasn't too shabby it's all right and then I shamedly got some fruit and ugh, some ruffles. That doesn't track with the whole keto thing. But this whole plate was vegan, so don't sue me. And for dinner, ooh, dinner was so good. I made super firm tofu. I fried that a little and made it crumbly like ground meat and broccoli, peppers, garlic, mushrooms. Um, some rice cauliflower would have been really good in this. And the lime juice, which sent it somewhere else just to another dimension and once again I put my soda water in a glass just for y'all and then later squeeze some lime into it and there were a lot more pecans in this cup before I just ate them while I stood and waited for the water to boil for my yet another cup of swamp water coffee I didn't put ashwagandha in this one but the one from lunch did have it in there live from above my toilet this is the view that's out of my bathroom window a cold copy from the brew i made thursday for lunch i was finishing off a couple of things uh this is the last square of this unsweetened baker's chocolate that i've been really liking and the bottom that i was scraping from this peanut butter jar ate a whole bit of that out of serving and this is just leftover from the night before, but with half an avocado and a black copy with ashwagandha. Look at just look at my son. Oh my gosh, he's so handsome. Gets it from his mother. I love having a lunch buddy. Just, just, just looky. Front facing camera makes this look a little bit um, 
hack, but I'm sorry. That's just how I can tell what's happening. I went and done it. Remember the other day how I said I wasn't going to get fruit and see how I did? Well, uh, not only did I get apples, but I also got blueberries and ate the whole thing. And here's a Bell V that uh, is just all these version of a sparkling water. And my son is eyeing that peanut butter. And this is, fun fact, the apple that rolled all over the Aldi fork. I dropped it. And I had a double shot of a single origin espresso from my favorite coffee shop and some leftovers from last night, which I forgot to film. Sorry about that. Sorry. It's just soy noodles with olive oil and nutritional yeast and garlic. And then this, I had two bowls of. It's soy curls with cauliflower that I fried in some olive oil with kale and the peppers from my mom's garden. I only have one bird's eye chili left. Um, but I also had this swirling delicious cup of instant decaf coffee and some peanut butter. I also had another thing of peanut butter today. I don't know where the footage of that is. And of water. And I'm topping it all off for the remainder of the week with this lovely cup of chai. Bye! All the lovely things we plan to do today.